All right, I've got a new toy. Uh, we are in the Cirrus jet, which is a nice, extremely light jet aircraft. Um, very small and uh, goes 250, which is going to get us a long ways very fast. So um, we're pretty much covering the entire uh, entirety of Nebraska on this flight just to finish off the little Nebraska tour. Um, we are in Norfolk, Nebraska. Uh, they got a little racetrack up here that actually the World of Outlaw Late Models went to, and uh, it's a it put on a good show. So we're gonna go take a look at that. Then we're gonna head to Stewart, Nebraska. It's got a very tiny, tight dirt track up there. Uh, Alliance, which there's a old paved racetrack that is no longer in use. And then down to Scott's Bluff, where there is a small paved track down there. So, a uh, very, very, very long trip. And if we take a look at the flight plan here... Uh, can we get... Nope. Let's go... It's not going to give us any information right now until we get going, so we'll, uh, we'll just leave that up. And our first stop, well not stop, but our first place we're headed to is Stewart. So let's get rolling here, find out what the... Uh, Kilo Oscar Foxtrot. Kilo Oscar calm winds. Okay, cool. Turned here. I don't know what the button is to get the uh, people to go away, but uh, we can take off in any direction we like. But it doesn't actually look like it's calm. So we'll head on down this way. But yeah, uh, really enjoy flying this plane. It's uh, it can go very slow and very fast, easy to control. So, um, gonna, gonna make it, like, this is still gonna be probably an hour and a half video, just because we're not even taking the most direct route, because we're going way up to northern Nebraska, to Stewart, then to Alliance, and then down to Scott's Bluff, so we're gonna see a whole lot of Nebraska here, and... Hopefully, I can be somewhat entertaining through it. We've got it set to morning, uh, so the sun is coming up, and uh, the moon is setting, and we'll uh, be heading towards it for the next hour and a half or so, if we can find a runway. Not sure if we uh, taxied the right part, but I wonder if I can zoom in here and uh, get a little bit better idea. Hey, there we go. Cool. Alright. We're going where we need to. It's a runway. This thing's so quick we could probably just uh, pop it up halfway down the main runway. Hopefully this runway is actually operational. Looks like it is. So yeah, Norfolk is it's still about an hour away from the South Dakota border and about an hour and a half two hours away from Omaha but there's also hopefully soon going to be a four-lane highway all the way there, or most of the way there, which is going to cut my drive time up here down massively, but, um, yeah, let's get rolling. Back. Ooh, hold off 
off to the right hard there. Okay, let's climb out here. And then we get to the end of the runway like we're supposed to. I turned it already. We'll head over to off-road speedway. bit too much and we were in a very steep bank and that was almost bad. We almost stalled it out there. Alright. We're going to have to search around a little bit here. But it is somewhere over in this direction. I think it's on the north side of the river. Maybe not. Let's get this thing calm down a little bit. We don't want to get up in the air too high right now. Okay. Got it holding even. Where are we? Racetrack. Is that it? That's it. Alright. So this is like a quarter mile but it's really, really wide, and uh, it put on a really good show with the dirt lay models. I was surprised. But it looks like they've got a little cart track as well, and they got a, I don't know if it's a motocross or just an off-road track, but um, yeah. That is one of the newest tracks in Nebraska. It's a long ways away from town, so hopefully it doesn't get whined about for a while. Let's kick the uh, speed up. Gear is up. Why is my speed only 200? Is it because... I don't know why it's limited to that right now. Um, Jesus, this thing is climbing like crazy. Alright, let's get autopilot and flight director and then That'll take us on course. Let's get our altitude set. We're going to go 8,000, which is going to be really low for this, but uh, we want to the speed up. And uh, what do we need to do? Alright, so we're over the airport now. Is it going to actually take us on to the flight path? Let's zoom out here. Yep, it's headed towards it. Cool. Alright, so we are, at the moment, 78 miles from Stewart. Uh, we need to... Let's go ahead and put... Should have done all this before. And phase one. Yeah, that did not set, did it? Alright, we are climbing. Did not set my speed. It didn't change that. So how do I get that to work? Zero. Okay, whatever. Not gonna worry about 
that. Um... should be fine. Maybe because it was incomplete there. No, nope, I don't know. Oh well. It's holding at a decent speed right now. We'll just manually do it. Because for some reason... Maybe it's this. Maybe it's after the fact. Does that change it? It did not. are up, gear are up, so this should be going up to 250, but it's not. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go full throttle. What can this thing do? Back it down just a little bit here. I know we're not supposed to be going this quick at this altitude, but it's a game. So we are 15 minutes out from Stewart. Let's take a look outside real quick. Ground speed is 270 right now. So we are booking it. We are at 8,000, or no, we're 1,000 feet from 8,000. Norfolk is gone, and now we are out in the normal looking Nebraska landscape. Fields and fields and fields. Don't even have any major roads that I see anywhere around here. Just got this little river here. Got some fog over there. How do I get my auto throttle to work? I don't know. Okay, that's not what I wanted. And it got us up to eight. There we go. All right, now it's finally doing what I want it to do, at least. 250, so let's go auto throttle. Now, I don't have to do anything because that's what flying is. Um, let's check out the weather for our trip. So you can see our whole trip here across Nebraska, which, I pull this up on this side, you might be able to kind of tell. Not really, though. Here's the South Dakota border, and then it's about some bluffs down there. North Platte, where we landed last time, is right about here. I think Omaha is right here. So, um, kind of gives you an idea of how much of Nebraska we are covering. But no weather to worry about. We do have some clouds that we're going to be flying through like. That's not going to matter too much. At the moment, 12 minutes and 30 seconds out. I believe this is the Elkhorn River. Little town over there. We've actually got a fairly big airport. What town is that? Once I get west of Norfolk up here, I uh, kind of have no idea. Uh, it's nearly. Okay. So then, as we follow the Elkhorn River, which is pretty much what we're doing, we'll get up to O'Neill, Nebraska, and then. 
Stewart, Nebraska, somewhere around there. But, yeah, as you can see, this looks a bit like everything that we've already seen in Nebraska. Um, it'll start getting a little watery, or at least driving up here, it does get to be uh, more wetlands. But maybe that just looks like that from the road, which is following Elkhorn River. See the river, and that is just the same direction that we're heading. A little bit of clouds here that look like they'd be rain, but hopefully they all clear up. So yeah, right now we've got 178 gallons of fuel. We are burning 100 gallons per hour. So, we can't let this take two hours. Let's see if, does it have time? Uh, to the destination, it's not. should be fine on fuel, but if we have to, we can back throttle down. Right now we are using quite a bit. Our throttle percentage is, uh, I think right there, 90. So gallons per hour is way up, but if we were to back that down, it would uh, quickly come down. So we're definitely not in fuel save mode. Yeah, these look like they should be producing some weather. Um, but they're not, so that is fine. Although they might... Hopefully they're not going to block our view. We're going to have to come off of autopilot when we get up here. Usually when I come off of autopilot, it completely breaks everything. So, the racetrack is just past this point. So we'll turn off autopilot, head past it, go take a look down at it. It is... It is in extremely tight corners. Like, it looks like it's got a football field right next to it, and it doesn't look like it's front stretch wall to back stretch wall. It doesn't look like it's much wider than a football field. So, I uh, was surprised to see that looking at it. Obviously, I've never been there. I've never even seen videos of it. I might have to go look at some videos and see. But it's kind of like some of those tracks on the uh, World of Outlaw game. AI has uh, put a massive building out here for no reason. Looks like a very wet time that they got all of this info, the photos, aerial photos. But yeah, the Elkhorn River gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, back when my Flight Sim first came out, I followed this river all the way out to the point where I couldn't find it anymore, out in western Nebraska. We're going to go south of it. These clouds. These clouds don't look very friendly. We might get bounced around. in 
there. I am still on uh, real world weather. There's actually supposed to be a bit of snow in these, if I'm looking at the radar right now. So uh, we might have to turn those off, strobe on. have to turn on our de-ice, but we'll wait. I obviously shouldn't be flying through this, but we're going to go ahead and do so. Can't even really see the wings. I got... Closer. All right, and then I can see back to the wings. But we're definitely going to tell on the windshield if we do start getting icing. Uh, right now, outside temp is just below freezing, so if there is any moisture in the clouds, it may start icing up on us. real-time reflections on the uh, windshield or on the windshield as it clouds up all right is this a bad idea outside temp still negative one so it didn't get any colder in the cloud I don't see any ice forming up, so I think we're okay. We got four minutes until we are at the waypoint. Let's go ahead and I want to get this lined up what we're doing, and I will just switch to heading mode. We'll go straight after this, and we should be able to find that track as long as it clears up. We ain't going to be able to see anything right now. Let's take a look back at our wings again, and... Uh, There's a little bit of frost on them now. Okay. Just a little bit of frost. You can see it right out on the... on the light there. There we go. De-ice. On the engine. Alright, we're out of it. It wasn't too big. We're good to go. Off. And we can get back to our normal spot. Let's hop outside real quick. Yeah, I might have been all making it up in my head, anyways. It looked like there was, but it might have just been that light inside of it. So. No ice, no worries, we're through it, and we got Atkinson, I believe, right here, then Stewart is going to be the town after, they got the airport in between, let's go ahead and go heading mode. The lighting looks awesome right now, though, with the sun coming up. We've been doing midday flights for the most part, so this uh, 
things at least is making it look a lot better. So currently, ground speed is 265. not going to give us a whole lot of time to look here. Pop out to the town here. This is not Stewart. Oops, that was a weird little... I don't know if the cloud's updated or what, but... God, this game looks so good. So, little airport down there. We could easily land this thing on it. And there is the town of Stewart. Let's hope that I got this set up right so it doesn't try to turn us when we get to that waypoint. But it still goes to the next waypoint. Yeah, it's telling us to turn right now, but that is not what we're going to do at the moment. So, this track is right there. We've got a football field, and then the track next to it, and it's right in this tiny little town. I'm pretty sure they actually race 305, 305 sprints at it, which is just crazy, because as you can see, uh, it is very small. Long straights, extremely tight corners. Uh, it, yeah, I'm going to have to go look up some videos, see if there's any videos of it out there, but I mean, that is practically a go-kart track. But that is uh, I think the final northern Nebraska track, unless I am completely missing one. Turn nav on, is it going to turn us? Nav. Nav, come on. Turn. Yep, I broke it, didn't I? Alright, let's go to flight plan, and we want to go direct. Okay, now it's going to turn us. And now we're going to head down from the Elkhorn River, which is still going off into the distance. And we will head down across the sand hills. Alliance is pretty much just in a straight line to Scott's Bluff. So we are 35, well, that's going down, 160 miles out, 35 minutes out. But that should be good on fuel as we've still got 155 gallons of fuel, so it's not going to be an hour from this point. But kind of matched up with what I thought it would be for time frame of an hour and a half video. Let's hop outside. Yeah, we got sand hills up here too.
So, that... I wonder if that's the Elkhorn. Or is that... No, I think that's, uh... Missouri. The Missouri River. Is it? Yeah, because it's gonna... Turn up and go away. There should be a massive dam somewhere up there, I think. Or am I losing my mind? What direction are we headed? We're headed almost west. Okay, so... I think... I mean, should it be that close to us? I don't think that, and it's not matching up on the map at all, so I'm really lost here. But I mean, it looks like a major river. That is not Missouri. That is... That's Niobrara. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. That makes a lot more sense than what I was thinking. So we've got the little highway now that we're following back this direction. And uh, another little airport. Like I said, Nebraska has so many airports. I think there's like 94 public. Thirty-two minutes away from Alliance. Could probably crank the speed up a bit more, but just stick with 250. I'm sure if we got up a little bit higher as well, that would uh, give us a bit better air, but we do have some rain that is showing up on the radar now. That looks to be uh, just before Alliance. Air temp, negative 2 Celsius out now. Uh... Is that my inside air temp? Maybe. What is ISA? I would assume... It's defog. I don't think that's our inside town. I don't even know if that is simulated in this plane. We're not going to worry about it. Under, let's pop up on our tablet real quick. Uh, oh, do we somehow still have our chocks on? Okay. <laughs> Uh, glad we couldn't see that. Okay, so this has nothing that we need to know. Um, we can go over here to this aircraft systems and 
environment and pressure. Uh, yeah, it's looks like it's kind of cold in here. 37 degrees. We should probably do something about that. You just crank up the heat. anything for us. Nothing? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, don't, don't care about that. I've already got that screen up. I mean, it is still cold in here. We need to we need to try to solve that issue. But um, okay, the radar just updated, <laughs> and apparently we're gonna get some light rain all the way through here now. Look up, and there's a whole new sky, and then a big cell. This happens over airports for some reason. It gets the weather reading for an airport, and then it puts a big cell over it, so we might get a little bit of rain or snow here. Not sure which. Uh, our air temp continues to go down. ECS environmental control system disable all right we got temp going up we'll keep that off it's 40 degrees now yeah we're just gonna have some rain along here uh, look out here into the sand hills just a drier sandy area through Nebraska. Let's zoom out on this map. Uh, it's just it's just the whole way there. Okay. Uh, 51 degrees now. Positive. We're doing... 272 now. This game, though, just looks so amazing. Like, every game before this, Nebraska just looked horrendous. I know this doesn't look probably all that amazing to everyone else, but I mean, this is Nebraska. Before it was like these small fields and just everything looked all wrong. This, though, so much better now. Looks like we're just gonna be skirting on the north side of this storm, but it's light all the way through anyways. That looks like kind of a big town, but it's Ainsworth, possibly. Maybe it's just a really dry area and it's not even a town. Or would that be no that would not be any worth, would it? I don't think it's anything. I think it's just a really dry patch that looks like a town from a distance. And that's what it is. We do have a little lake there. Uh, it's now 71 degrees, so we can put 
that just around midway and we'll hope that it stays there. Let's take a look at what our uh, map looks like now. We can zoom in a bit here. Four minutes away as we go through this light storm. And nothing really getting on the windshield, so not a lot into. And we should be above it anyways, but since we're on a sightseeing flight, we're going to just cruise at 8,000. over here, uh, the water level or water table is just extremely high in this area. It's almost a swamp. Tons of groundwater around it. But a whole bunch of sand, so you really can't do a whole lot with it. So, looking at our path, trying to figure out where we might be. It's kind of hard to tell with not a whole lot going on, but there should be a little river valley running along the left side of us eventually. Zoom into this real quick. They don't have all those little lakes, but um, yeah, they're shooting. There's a little river. So we might have a town coming up. Just a very small town, but it's probably going to be really hard to see with the current weather. Sun's popping through in places over there. We're about to get into a low cloud. This airport is Gordon, Nebraska, which is very small. Twenty minutes away. 
remains worth. And then probably five minutes to Scott's Bluff. It's a little bit heavier stuff to the north, but I think we'll be fine. That there is some sand hills, but you can't really see it all that well. Although that's a kind of cool picture. Yeah, we got some actual water, so it's still raining, even though it's negative two. Keep an eye out just to make sure it doesn't start icing up because that can cause us some major issues. But yeah, it looks like we're just going to be in and out of rain this whole way and uh, just going to be dependent on how much rain we got over Alliance and uh, Scott's Bluff. If we're going to be able to see anything, but as long as it's not icing or snow, then we're okay. Going 273 right now, you can see that down here, ground speed. Sixteen minutes away right there, seventy-six miles out. Check on our air temp. All right, holding 68 degrees, so we're good there. Icing. We don't need to turn anything on yet. And uh, I don't know if that's going to really tell us much. Um, so, let's... Uh, back on. Continue to barely be able to see outside. But it looks like it breaks up again after we get through this, so hopefully we'll go back to being able to see. We have lost the ground, but there wasn't much to see anyway, so that's good news. It's just peeking through. Just got to rely on all the instruments and make sure that things don't start icing up, because if they do, we're not going to really be able to tell.
this. So almost out of it, and then it should be fairly scattered. Until we get to Alliance where it looks like it gets heavier, but we do have some heavier bits just to the left of us now. And then, man, if that moves down at all, we're not going to see a whole lot. Just breaking open now. Thirteen minutes out. sand hills as far as you can see a rainbow oh we got some heavy stuff now just ahead of alliance yeah, we might not even be able to see alliance unless it moves on a bit further Alright, so, um, got the rainbow there, and, uh, Alliance is somewhere, uh, well, still 50 miles out so we got this heavy bit to go through then it's going to lighten up again and then it's going to get really strong not terrible but still yellow is going to be we're not going to be able to see the ground from 8000 it's a double rainbow got a triple rainbow i don't even know if it can triple rainbow back into the rain. It's a good thing, though, that everything underneath us right now is just the same so we're not missing out on much we don't have hills or mountains to dodge there's, there's nothing to worry about for a long time we could fly for probably another hour and a half before we need to start worrying about our altitude cell just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So, yep, still just uh, random ponds all over the place up here.
random houses out in the middle of nowhere. I honestly do not know how people can live out in the middle of nowhere. Like, being an hour away from a town just could not do. Alright, so we got a little bit of a pocket here. You can see sand hills. It's just dune after dune after dune that's been grassed over. <laughs> this, this little pocket here just keeps getting bigger and bigger and starting to just set. Right over Alliance. Oh, we should do. I don't know. I'm assuming it does work, but when the eclipse happens, or did it already happen? April 8th. See how the game handles that. I don't know if I've ever tried that. It's one thing I wish iRacing would get the moon in so that we could find the perfect date. Like right now they only have a year open, but if they could open the year and you could go, alright, there was an eclipse over Kansas, this date. It would just be a interesting thing because track temp would just drop like crazy, and uh, yeah, it would just be a weird, weird uh, little thing to race in. I know they have had practices go into eclipse and everything, but it would be fun to do in the sim. Yeah, this is a bit why northern Nebraska is not populated very much. Sand and very, very high water level, and just a lot of nothing for miles and miles and miles. Now the storm is starting to build over Scott's Bluff as well. Maybe I shouldn't have went with real world weather. I mean, the good news is it's not snow like it's showing in real life, but I think that's because we're in the daytime, so the temperatures gotta make up for. It. But I mean, right now in real life outside, it's uh, 43. You know what though, this, uh, this radar is pretty accurate at the moment, what has been going on over this area. That's kind of impressive. The weather is one thing that I've been kind of disappointed in with the real world weather, but and that is a thick band of rain right before Alliance. I don't I don't think we're going to be able to see I mean I just I don't think we're going to be able to see anything there Pop outside real quick 
Yeah, just random farm next to a pond out in the middle of nowhere. Not even straight roads anywhere. It's just lay capture the pond or whatever you want to call these everywhere out here. But she had never knew that Nebraska was like this weird grassed over desert swamp. All right, well, we're gonna go through this, come out the other side, and hopefully be able to see a racetrack that's been turned into like a RV park. Yeah, so this is showing all on real life weather radar that it's all rain as well. It's not cold enough. No, we've got a highway. First highway sighting we've seen in a while. Is that Highway 2? Forgot which highway goes through. Airport is south of town, so let's, uh, let's get our heading. Go heading now. Try to find the town. Man, this is gonna be impossible. But we definitely don't want to go to the airport because it's really far south, and we're gonna have to be directly over town in order to see anything. Altitude's still 8,000. So we're good there. Just double check as we go into the clouds. <laughs> uh, good luck on seeing this track. We're going to have to have guessed perfectly on where the town is, and then the track's going to have to go directly under us, unless I can spot the town beforehand, or this starts thinning out a bit. I guess we can start looking for roads that go in. Is that going to show us the town? It's not, but we might be going too far north now. So let's, let's line up with this road here. I feel like this road's going to point us right to the town. Possibly. We got a little community there. There's the town. Right? Yep. Luckily, the rain has just passed over. So we're going to have a little bit of visibility to try to spot where this track is. There it is. Pretty sure. Let's just uh, look over there and that is the paved oval that has been turned into an RV lot. So 
that is no longer being raced at. Let's go ahead and go back to Nav. And direct to Scott's Bluff. So yeah, that is Alliance. It's got a bit of a railroad yard there. Hey, we can see sun for the first time in a while. Back to the rain. So we are, what, now seven minutes out of Scott's Bluff. Okay. Not bad at all. Um, we've got to go a bit south. Probably just follow this road that I saw to my left. No, that will be too sharp of a. Alright, so. Actually, the Highway 92. I think that's what it's called. Highway 92 Raceway is almost directly south of the Scotts Bluff Airport, so let's find out what we've got for weather in Scotts Bluff. Find out which way we need to land. Zero Bravo Foxtrot, Foxtrot, automated weather observation, one tree, zero, zero, zero. Wind, calm. Visibility, one Yeah, zero. I don't think that's right. I think the uh, weather system is a bit messed up right now because it wasn't calm when we took off and I highly doubt that it's calm with a little storm rolling through so we're just gonna land to the west that's the best guess for where the rain's coming from and what would be the normal direction of wind. So I think we'll just head towards the airport, make a left hand south, and look for the track down there, and then turn around and um, land it, and have flown almost the entirety of Nebraska. Can get a lot done with this jet, and if we were a little bit higher, we could have, if we had the right wind, really been flying. But yeah, this this is gonna be a hell of a landing. I mean, that is just a thick blob of rain right over the airport. It's just been growing. Just this whole area is just covered. Alright, so let's just double check what our altitude is. It is. Elevation is 4,000. So we'll drop down to 6. Which you can probably start doing now. Speed drop at eight hundred a minute. It's gonna back our fuel usage down. We've still got eighty one gallons of fuel 
and our fuel flow is going to drop quite a bit as we start descending here. So we've got no visibility and we're still in the green stuff. Alright, I see a little bit. I see some ground. We are a minute fifty out from the airport. dropping our speed, which is fine. We needed to drop our speed anyways. from our weather report just got you know what I think we're just gonna have to land and then go look at the racetrack and the drone I think that's really our only option and we are I mean we're just at this point we've got no visibility, so we're gonna have to go approach ILS. Uh, what do we want? ILS. Let's go RNAV GPS. E and I don't know. Let's take a look at what we've got. I don't know what any of these mean. We'll just go vector and load and activate. And we're going to have to get it going back a ways because right now we're over the airport. So let's go. Can we go direct to? Okay, direct to. That's going to turn us around. This. Hopefully that'll get us lined up. But I think we're still going to be way too close in, aren't we? Yeah, we need to go to this one. There we go. That's better. Okay. So yeah, it's just way too thick right now. So we're going to have to just land it. Or we're never going to see the racetrack. Oh. Maybe never going to see the runway. That's why we're going to have to autopilot this thing in. Just to be safe. Good news is it has all of our altitude info in there. So it's going to bring us down as we need to. I believe. B nav on, maybe that will do what I need it to do. It's going to be a really tight turn here, though. Hopefully it can pick it up. GPS does not like tight turns, but 
Man, we can't see anything here. Let's go ahead and auto throttle off. Bring our speed down even more. It's gonna slow this whole process down, but we need this process to be slower. It's gonna take me a bit to react. Maybe the slower we go, the sooner it stops raining. Alright, so I want, I don't care about the weather anymore, but back and put our map on here, and I want, sorry, so I want to zoom in a bunch here, alright, so this should start turning for us, cool, so back the speed off a little bit more, pick this up. Okay. And so we got our altitude. It has not That was too tight of a turn for... GPS, so we're gonna overshoot that a bit and... I'm gonna bring this all back down a little slower. Flaps out. Slow us down more. We're looking at the runway should be coming up. And I'm going to get this lined up. We're going to turn off. Oh shit, our speed has dropped too many things to pay attention to. All right. We're lined up. Sort of lined up. up so bad right now. Alright, we got a autopilot off on this. We've got the line. We're lined up. We're a little high right now. I just need to be able to see the runway. Sit up a little bit. Nope. That's not going to work for me. Okay, full throttle, look for the lights. We're at 57, there we go. I see lights, I see the runway. We're good. Full flaps, we're a little high. Drop the speed off, start dropping down. 
Oh god, we're really high. Luckily we slowed down early enough because we are gliding in really hot here. We've got a ton of runway to work with though. off to the side still high we're gonna get down though there we go bring the nose down well that went better than it could have it's a little rough but we get stopped in time and we get the first turn off uh, that was, <laughs> thanks for autopilot, because, yeah, that would have been impossible without that, or the GPS and everything else. Um, okay, maybe we didn't find the first turn off, that's the runway, yeah, okay, now we're off here. Turned off onto the other runway, but we've got the taxiway over here now. Ooh, all right. Thought we were gonna have a uh, bad time getting down, but luckily modern technology has made this quite easy to, I mean, in real life it'd be scary as hell, obviously, but Let's just go park over here. Looks like we got the Cirrus propeller version just ahead of us. Okay. Let's go. Parking brake on. We can turn off all of our lights. Turn off the engine, possibly. There we go. And we're down. I don't know how to shut the rust off. I guess we can just do that. Yeah, click the buttons, it goes off. And here we are. I always forget to put my flaps back up after I start taxiing, so. Well, let's uh, head over to the racetrack now, because we were never going to get to it uh, with flying. That was going to be impossible, although this is going to be a little harder, because I assume I'm heading south. But we're still not going to have a whole lot of visibility with this storm going through, so I'm looking for a highway that is not a highway but this is a highway and I think it's back this direction we, there was no chance of us seeing this if we flew here um, highway is going that way now and we've got a town that, all right, so it was this direction. A little bit further. We might just be going back and forth on this highway over and over trying to find it, but I think we have it. Is that a motocross track? No. Um. Okay, that's not good. Now we're into gearing. Were we on the wrong highway? Okay, let's go down this highway. 
going to look at a map real quick. Uh, yeah, we were on the wrong highway. So we got to go down this road and then find another highway because apparently there's three highways that come into town. This highway. This would be a lot easier if it was clear. There we go. Highway 92 Raceway. They run Bandoleros, Legends. I don't know if they do any stock car stuff. It's a pretty small track, but um, yeah. That is the only operating paved oval in Nebraska. So, um, and you can see lights on the airport well you could until the rain started moving in more again which is a good way to finish this video because we couldn't see a whole hell of a lot of anything at any point so i uh, hope you enjoyed that we're off to england next i think and uh that's going to be a bit of just picking a route randomly flying and see what we can see um with no real destination and um yeah because we should be able to run into soccer stadiums and racetracks and a whole lot of stuff so um yeah hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching